Hi students! So welcome back to my class and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about the sum and difference of functions. Here we have here, for example, that f of x equals x squared minus 5 and g of x equals 5x plus 4 and find letter a, f plus g of x and the letter b, uh, find f plus g of 3. So first, uh, let's answer letter A. So find F plus G of X. Okay? So this is addition or sum. Okay? So let's just um, add. Or let's just find the sum of the our F of X and our G of X. So our F of X is X squared is 5. Okay? So that is our F of X plus so what is our g of x our g of x is 5x plus 4 all right so now let's um combine the similar terms so we have x squared so we have here positive 5x okay then negative 5 plus 4 because they are constant. Next equals x squared plus 5x. Now, um, negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. So, our answer in number 1 is x squared plus 5x minus 1. Okay, next for letter G, we have f plus G of 3. Now, here, so as you can see, this is number 3, while this one is x. Okay, what you're going to do, First, is just to solve the uh, f plus g of x. So, now we have the answer of um, x plus g of x. So, now what you're going to do is just to substitute 3 to x. Now, we have um, the answer for the f plus g of x. So, we have x squared plus 5x minus 1. Now, let's substitute 3 to x. Alright? So, to find the f plus g of 3. So, substitute the value of x, it will become 3 squared plus 5 times 3 minus 1. Okay? So, next, um, what is uh, 3 squared? So, 3 squared is 9 plus 5 times 3 is 15 minus 1. Then, proceed to the operation. So, 9 plus 15 is 24 minus 1 is 23. So, the final answer in letter B is 23. Now, for letter C, we have the difference of f of x and then g of x. Okay? So, for letter C, we have f minus g of x and then for letter B, we have f minus g of 5. So, again, let's solve for letter C. So, first is we need to um, find the difference of the f of x and then g of x, alright? So, our f of x is x squared minus 5. Minus, okay, our g of x is 5, okay, 5x five plus 4, alright? So, since this is minus, so we're going to distribute this sign to this and this and then proceed to addition, okay? So, it will become x squared minus 5. Okay, next is um, negative times positive 5x. It will become negative 5x. And then negative times positive 4. It will become negative 4. And then now, um, combine the similar term. So that is x squared minus 5x. Okay, and then negative 5. And then negative 4. Next, proceed to the operation. So, x squared minus 5x. Negative 5 minus 4 is negative 9. So, the answer in letter C is x squared minus 5x minus 9. Alright, for letter B, so that's the um, same process with the addition. So, first is to solve uh, the f minus g of x. Now, we already have the answer in x minus g of x, so that is x squared minus 5x minus 9. Okay? So that is x squared minus 5x minus 9. 
Now, what we're going to do is just to substitute 5 to x. So, it will become 5 squared minus 5. Okay, so x will become 5 and then minus 9. Next, let's proceed to the operation. So, 5 times 5 is 25. Again, so minus 5 times 5 is 25 again. And then minus 9. Now, next, uh, 25 minus 25 is 0. Minus 9 is negative 9. So, the answer in letter B is negative 9. Okay, for our next example, let f of x equals x plus 1 and g of x equals x squared plus 5x minus 6. So, find letter E, f plus g of x and the letter f, f minus g of x. Okay, so first, let's solve for letter E. So, f plus g of x. So, again, let's add our f of x and then the g of x. So, our f of x is x minus 1. Plus, our g of x is x squared, it's 5x, minus 6, or x squared, plus 5x, minus 6. Next, since this is addition, so let's proceed to um, combine the similar terms. So, x minus 1, plus x squared, plus 5x, minus 6, okay? Next, so, let's uh, move the x squared here. So, x squared and then 5x plus x. And then combine this one, like negative 6 and then negative 1. Next, x squared. So, 5x plus x is 6x. So, plus 6x. And then negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. So, the answer in letter E is x squared plus um, 6x minus 7. How about here in letter F? So, that is um, F minus G of X. So, let's uh, find the difference of F of X and then G of X. So, here, our F of X is X minus 1 minus our G of X is X squared plus 5X minus 6. Okay, so then this is minus or negative. So, let's distribute this side to this term. So, it will become um, x minus 1. Negative times x squared is negative x squared. Negative times positive 5x, it will become negative 5x. Negative times negative 6, so it will become positive 6. Next is, uh, let's move x squared here. So, it will become negative x squared. Okay, next is our x's, so we have negative 5x here, and then positive x here. Next, we have positive 6, and then negative 1, which is our constant. Next, bring down x squared, and now let's combine the similar terms. So, negative 5 plus x, it will become negative 4x. 6 minus 1 is positive 5. So, our answer in letter F is negative x squared minus 4x plus 5. Okay, for the last is we have the H. So, F plus G of 2. So, first is, um, let's solve first what is um, F plus G of X. Okay, so let's find the sum of F, F of X and then G of X. So, our F of X is X plus 1, X minus 1. Then plus our g of x is x squared plus 5x minus 6. Alright, so let's uh, combine the similar terms. So x minus 1. So since this is positive, so positive x squared and then positive 5x and then negative 6. No change for the sign. Okay, next, let's move x squared here. So it will become uh, x squared and then our x's, so 5x plus x and then negative 6 and then here is negative 1. Now let's combine the similar terms. So x squared 5x plus x it will become plus 6x and then 6 negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. Okay? So this is our f plus g of x. But uh, we're looking for x plus g of 2. 
So now let's proceed here. So f plus g of 2. Because we will substitute 2 to x. So it will become okay, x squared plus 6x minus 7. Right? So x will become 2 squared plus 6 times our x is 2 and then negative 7. Okay? So next, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 6 plus 2 is 12 minus 7. Now, uh, 4 plus 4 plus 12 is 16. 16 minus 7 is 9. So that is our final answer in letter H. And that's how we end our lesson for today. If you have more questions, so please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Bye-bye!